Hello, this is day two of our study on the baptism of the Holy Spirit and the gifts of the Spirit. Uh, today I want to tackle the, the question, is the baptism of the Holy Spirit a separate experience than salvation? Uh, do you get it all when you get saved? We know that we get the fullness of salvation and our sins remitted and our names written in the Lamb's Book of Life. Is that all that we get? Let's, let's take a look. I believe... And I believe through the Scripture that there are two separate experiences, salvation and the baptism with the Holy Spirit. Salvation means the indwelling presence of the Spirit of Christ, the indwelling presence of the Spirit of Christ. Baptism of the Holy Spirit means His infilling power. So you have the indwelling where He lives in you and the infilling of His power where He fills you to overflowing. Uh, the baptism of the Holy Ghost uh, and, and being a separate, a separate distinct experience with uh, the presence of God is explained all throughout uh, the book of Acts. I don't have time to read all, but check out Acts 2, verse 38 and 39. It said, Then Peter said unto them, Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, for the remission of sins. So there we see he's preaching salvation. And he says, and you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. So we, he preaches salvation, tells them to repent and be baptized. And he says, then you will receive the Holy Spirit. We see in Acts chapter 8 uh, this played out as well. A different experience of salvation and the baptism of the Holy Spirit. Also in Acts 9, uh, the life of Paul. We know that Paul has an encounter with Christ on the road to Damascus. He gets born again. He gives his heart to Jesus. But then later, Paul receives the baptism of the Holy Spirit when hands are laid on him. Let me real quick show you here in a couple of minutes in Acts chapter 19. Let me read you verses 1 through 6 and watch what happens. Right here, it says, It came to pass that while Apollos was at Corinth, Paul having passed through the upper coast of Ephesus and finding certain disciples, he finds disciples, so they're born again, they're Christian people. He said unto them, Have you received the Holy Ghost since you believed? Have you received since you believed? And they said unto him, We have not so much has even heard that there be any Holy Ghost. And he said unto them, then what were you baptized? Unto what were you baptized? And they said unto John's baptism. Well, we know that's salvation. Baptism unto repentance. Paul said, John verily baptized with the baptism of repentance, saying unto people that they should believe on Him which should come after, and that is on Christ. And when they heard this, they were baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus. Watch this. And when Paul had laid his hands upon him, the Holy Ghost came on them and they spake with other tongues and prophesied. Here we see that he's talking to saved people, disciples, they were born again. But he said, have you received the baptism of the Holy Spirit since you believe? They said, we don't even know that there is a baptism of the Holy Spirit. Does that mean they were not saved? Sure they were saved, but they didn't understand. They weren't taught that even John said... Verily, verily, I say unto you, there's one coming after me whose shoes I'm not worthy to, uh, to un unloose. He said, he's going to baptize you with Holy Ghost and fire. The Holy Ghost and fire. So here we see that, that the baptism of the Holy Spirit and salvation are two distinct different experiences. You can experience the baptism of the Holy Spirit the same time you get born again. I've seen that happen and, 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 and watch that unfold in people's lives. But it's two separate things. We get born again, but then there's a distinct difference of the baptism of the Holy Spirit. I challenge you, go right back and read Acts chapter 8 and see the, the difference there when they find people, they send disciples to get people born again. Then they send separate disciples to lay hands on them to be filled and baptized in the Holy Ghost. So, is there two separate experiences, salvation and the baptism of the Holy Spirit? I believe yes, sir, and yes, ma'am, and we can find that in our Bible. I can't wait to see tomorrow where we go further in our teaching of the baptism of the Holy Spirit.